The Rams finally put it all together. As Rams fans, we got a great Christmas present because on Christmas Day, the Rams dominated the Broncos 51 to 14. This offense looked the best that we have seen it this year. Tyler Higby played a great game. Baker Mayfield played his best game since 2020. Cam Akers looking like a stud running the football and he didn't fumble. And the defense getting interceptions, forcing turnovers. And this Broncos defense was one of the best in the league and this Rams offense is making them look goofy on the field. So I wanna figure out what exactly happened to the point where this Rams offense just all of a sudden clicked against the Broncos. So I decided to pull up the all 22 footage. And while I do that, go ahead and like and subscribe to the Rams LAFB YouTube channel. And now let's get into the film room. First play that I want to show you is going to be a run for Cam Akers. Now, the first thing that I want to point out is that this Rams offensive line was really good run blocking in this game. Not as great pass blocking, but this was an elite Broncos defense, okay? We all knew that going into this game, and the Rams offensive line performed really, really well considering everything. Rob Havenstein, the right tackle on this play, does a great job of just allowing this defensive lineman to work himself out of the play. And now the next thing that I want to point out is this freeze frame, you have Patrick Sertan on the outside edge and Jonathan Cooper, the edge defender, has been worked at this play as well because of the double team by Bryson Hopkins and Tyler Higby. He is being pushed downfield. Cam Akers needs to see this and cut on this hole. It, it just a beautiful hole opens up. He goes too far. He, he takes too many steps rather to the outside rather than immediately cutting through that hole. And then what I want to see, oh, by the way, Tyler Higby working off of Jonathan Cooper on this play and then getting his hands on Josie Jewell, trying to take him out of the play. He does. And then the next thing I want to see is I want to see Odey Abushi getting his hands on that Broncos defender because check this out. If he does and this guy is out of the play, check this out. If he gets blocked right here and Cam Akers can run without getting touched in his ankles, you could be talking about a touchdown possibly on this play. Cam Akers beating all these guys with speed if nobody's intruding his freaking movement right here he could be going all the way down to the sideline very close to being a touchdown on this play the rams love doing this they're gonna have their quarterback fake a handoff go back to the weak side of the play on a rollout and then check this out you got your man downfield bryson hopkins is wide open on this play baker mayfield makes a perfect throw in stride to his tight end check this out from the end zone view the rams love doing this and they do it really well like i said if you look at this right guard and right tackle odea bushi and rob havenstein they both just kind of let these guys out but it's okay because baker mayfield on the run he has enough athleticism and enough arm talent to get that ball into his receiver in stride just an easy play for him. Another thing the Rams love doing is running this route concept. The outside receiver is going to run inside a little curl, and then the guy closer to the line of scrimmage is going to run a flat to the outside. And Baker Mayfield, check him out on this play. He makes this decision immediately, just a quick drop back, no wasted steps, no wasted movement, and immediately makes that decision to throw to the flat. Tyler Higby was wide open, and then you let Tyler Higby do the rest, getting into the end zone, a great effort on this play. It didn't look like he was going to make it, but he actually did. Really good run by Tyler Higby after the catch, and then Baker Mayfield, really good decision, so fast, with that decision to throw the ball, love to see it. This is the Cam Akers touchdown and big shout out to Rob Havenstein and Bryson Hopkins on this play. Rob Havenstein sealing this defender off and then Bryson Hopkins completely sealing the edge on this play against Jonathan Cooper. This is another double team for Tyler Higby and Bryson Hopkins on Jonathan Cooper and they completely win it. That is a mismatch and now you have Cam Akers one-on-one -on -one against the DB in this hole. That's another mismatch because check this out. Easy tutty into the end zone. And then also, I want to point this out. Coleman Shelton, the center, needs to keep those eyes up and not commit so much to this double team because Josie Jewell almost blew up this play. If he was a little bit faster with that, then he could have tackled Cam Akers in the backfield. But it is a touchdown. Really good block by the right side of this offensive line. Here's that same route concept. Remember I told you the outside receiver running in with a curl route and then the guy closer to the line of scrimmage running a flat. This time the Broncos are all over it and you can see Baker Mayfield was wanting it this way. You got three defenders against these two receivers. That's a mismatch. And then on this side of the field, you have three defenders against the two receivers as well, plus the deep safety. Baker Mayfield sees this and thinks, oh my gosh, 
So my running back should be wide open in the flat because this linebacker is in the middle of the field. So he throws it to Cam Akers on third and short. Cam Akers does the rest, breaking tackles and getting downfield. Really good play by Cam Akers. Ooh, shrugging off that defender and then getting all the way down to midfield. Here's where you get a little trickery as well. That same route concept at the top of the screen where this guy towards the inside is heading in the flat and then the guy on the outside is doing a curl. Same at the bottom of the screen as well. But this time, instead of going to the flat, this Broncos defender is, is uh, defending the flat really well. He's already going towards the outside. Tyler Higby plants his foot. Does a whip route back to the inside. Baker Mayfield has him the whole way. And Tyler Higby played a great game. Running downfield, getting some yak after this one. Setting up a first and goal. This is just a really good throw by Baker Mayfield. It's going to be an all-out blitz by all of these guys on the line of scrimmage. And it's man on man on man on man. So this safety has Brandon Powell, who's right now in the backfield. Brandon Powell, he's so fast, and he's breaking to the sideline. So this safety thinking, oh my gosh, I got to get to the sideline. And Alex Singleton has a free rushing lane to the quarterback. Baker Mayfield stands tall, though, reads this really well. This safety is going down to man-on-man uh, -man with Brandon Powell. And Tyler Higby is running a crosser into the middle of the end zone. Baker Mayfield stands tall, takes this hit, gets that ball right on the money to Tyler Higby. Big day for both of these guys. On this one, we're going to have a shallow crosser by this receiver, a 10-yard post route by Bryson Hopkins, and then Van Jefferson just running a little 5-yard curl route. Check out the man to read on this play for Baker Mayfield is Kareem Jackson, who feels like he's played 50 years in the NFL for the Broncos. He goes either for the man on the post route over the middle of the field, or he converges on Van Jefferson. Baker Mayfield is looking, waiting for what he's going to do. Sees that he's drifting over here. As soon as he does it, you can see Baker Mayfield getting that throwing motion off right over the middle of the field to Bryson Hopkins. Catches the ball in stride. Big chunk play for the Rams offense. This is just great play design. You're going to have 2-2 Atwell in motion to the bottom of the screen. Again, they're running that same route concept where the outside guy running a curl to the inside and then the inside guy running a flat to the outside. And this linebacker is still on the strong side of this formation. They didn't have anyone with him in motion, anyone with 2-2 Atwell in motion, that is. And it leaves Van Jefferson wide open in the middle of the field right here. And this linebacker has to run over and make the tackle. But Van Jefferson is already getting 15 yards on this play. It's just great play design by Sean McVay. Again, on this one, they had 2-2 Atwell motioning to the bottom of the screen. It's that same route concept, but this time they defend it well to the bottom. And then you can see already this guy is pointing to the outside because he knows Tyler Higby is going on that flat route. Baker Mayfield throws it to him, and it's just a perfectly timed play. But it looks like both of these Broncos defenders knew it was coming. You can see he's pointing, and then even before that, he's pointing down at the sideline telling him to get it. But neither of them do, and that's just a wide open play for Tyler Higby running downfield, getting another big chunk play. And the, the Broncos could not stop this all night. You want to see a deep pass from Baker Mayfield? Let's check it out, see how he can do it. Another fake handoff, and then just a big seven step drop for Baker Mayfield. These guys are running deep down the field. This is a cover three defense. The safety does a really nice job of recognizing that this is just a little crosser underneath the two deep routes to try to uh, beat that cover three defense so he goes up converges on this play but that ball gets there boom to bryson hopkins before the hit and then bryson hopkins toughening and out and just runs down the field getting some yak on this play man bryson hopkins and tyler higby cam Akers, baker mayfield all of these guys had really good days rob havenstein as well had a pretty good day blocking so that's the tape man and yeah there's a lot to like from that game on christmas that the rams played against the broncos and they, they played so well that the broncos had to fire their dang head coach but you know what i want to know who you guys were most excited about in that game i in my opinion I'm most excited about Baker Mayfield because I love Baker Mayfield. And, you know, I'm going to call it how I see it. Last week, he did not play well. This week, he played very well alongside a lot of other skill position players. Thanks for watching the Rams LAFB YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.